What's going on guys? My name is Dave Higgins. Welcome to Sandbox Explorer. All right, um, I'm gonna play Torchlight 2 today. I just uploaded, uploaded, downloaded the uh, update and there seems to be a secondary one as well. But uh, recently Torchlight 2 um, came out. Well, it's been out for a while. I forget what year, but it's been out for years on uh, PC. Uh, came out around the same time as Diablo 3, if I recall correctly. I did not play it before, um, but I played Diablo 3 on PlayStation 4 and on Switch now. And I was kind of like, yeah, it looks a lot like it, but, you know, I, I already played Diablo. And, you know, do I really want to play, like, another game that's the same kind of style? And the answer, after looking into it a little bit, seems to be yes. Um, I... Looked into it, and from what I was reading, it seems like it's... I don't want to use the word goofier, but it seems a little little less serious, but still, like, very... Oh, panic button. Panic button is a good thing to see. Uh, but it seems like it's a little less serious, but a little more open-ended, judging by what I was reading. So let's start a new character. I think the volume might be really low. So, if my voice is a lot louder than the audio, the music, then I apologize. But, um, so I'll talk back here a little bit more. So we got <clears throat> Ember Mage class. The Ember Mage is finally attuned to the elements, inflicting elemental elf effects on nearby enemies and extending the duration of all elemental effects. The Berserker is brutal and swift. The Berserkers call upon powerful beast magic to augment their deadly combat skills. The Engineer is equipped with ember-powered weapons and armor. Engineers keep the frontier in working order. Outlanders are versed in arcane arts and ancient pacts. Outlanders wield guns and magic with equal skill. So those are the four classes. Um, I'm going to go with, honestly, the Engineer. We got some different faces. Uh, let's see. None of them are bearded, unfortunately. I guess I'll go with the mutton chop guy. We got for hair. Um, I suppose I'll go with that guy's hair, and uh, I suppose I will go with this color. Similar, I guess. I'd love to have a bearded character, right? Oops, that's his hair, not his beard. Uh, I don't. That's like Daniel Day Lewis. Well. <laughs> that guy's kind of funny looking. Well, I guess it'll be this guy. Alright, so we will be... We will be my name. Oh, there it is. David. That's me. Alright, uh... Contigo. We have uh, pets. We have a hawk. We have a head crab. We have a badger. We have an owl. A panda. A rhino, a unicorn, a wolf, an alpaca, a panther, a bulldog, a cat, a chockery, chockery, ooh, a stag. Oh, a little papillon. They can be brown and black. Oh, it's so cute. And there's a ferret that looks a lot like an otter, but it's not. And then a fox. Oh, a fox. Oh, look at the fox. It's so nice. Oh, it's a snow fox. I'm gonna go with the stag. Uh, we got... We got this old stag. We got this old stag. Oh, that's pretty cool. And we got this old stag. Um, I can't tell if I want to go with this one. Or this one. Hmm. Hmm. As much as I usually go for all black, I kind of want to have this guy or this guy. Let's go with this guy. Um, let's name him Floki after the Viking guy. Oh man, I'm having so much indecision about this. It's, like, it's just a skin, but I'm assuming I can't change it again later. Um. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's just stick with my first one. <laughs> Alright. 
Yeah, Floki. Okay. Uh, let's just do normal and continue. Manage character's current settings. <clears throat> music volume. Oh, music volume effects volume. So we're using music just a little bit. I feel like that probably needs to go a little bit higher. Hopefully that's an appropriate volume. <clears throat> All right. Pardon HD rumble. Okay. Controls. Will I'm sure we'll get taught those. All right. Uh, let's just start. Remember to spend skill points to purchase new devastating attacks or whatever it said. Deep beneath torchlight, a darkness gathered. Three heroes confronted the beast called Ordrock. Ordrock. Yet even in death, Ordrock's corrupted heart endured and called out. Something just happened. Oh! I feel like the volume is probably lower than my voice, so... I apologize if my voice is a lot louder than the, the rest of the game audio. Wow, he's really, uh... Messing things up in there. Heroes may fall. Hope may fade, but new heroes will rise. True. Oh, I must drop my control. Torchlight door. Okay. <clears throat> Just me and the stag. Alright, so A is like a regular attack. Oh, my head's like literally right in the middle of all this. Well, Y, B is some of a big attack, and Y, X, and Y aren't anything yet. Well, R was just something. All right. All right. I think this is as far as I can go. You should carry <clears throat> on to the Asterian Enclave, but you're on your own. Warn them that the Alchemist destroyed Torchlight and is headed their way. He may be there already. Mm-hmm. So... These are the rewards? Or these are the quests? Like what? You have a new quest. I think I just accepted to do something for a shield. What's your business here? Uh, can I ride the horse? The hoss? No, I can't ride the hoss. Wait, can I? Oh, <laughs> it's a hoss. Alright, so the Vanquisher wants me to go this way. HUD basics. Welcome to Torchlight 2. The HUD shows the status of critical resources such as health and mana, as well as experience points. Okay. <laughs> right in the way. Alright, alright. Next tip. You can toggle between a primary and secondary weapon set as well as a hotkey button bindings by pressing left on the D-pad or, or directional buttons, whatever. The element in the HUD shows you which is currently active. 
which appears to be at the top. The mini-map in the top right-hand corner shows key locations in the world, including quest locations, dungeon entry points, entry points, and stairs to upper or lower levels in a dungeon. You can zoom in on the map by pressing up, or zoom out by pressing down. No way. The map can be made larger or hidden completely by pressing to the right. Okay. Stars tell you where your active quest is located. Exclamation points show available quest givers. Question marks show where to return once a quest is complete. Keep an eye out for other special icons, for portals, multiplayer friends, town vendors, and more. Alright. Smashed. Smash. Thank you, Stag. Thank you, Floki. Light Cowl. <clears throat> so yeah, very so much, very very so much. Yeah, that's that's how you speak. Um, so far, I mean, legit. This is like the same style as Diablo. So if you played Diablo, then you'll feel right at home um, playing this. At least you know three seconds in, like I am. Health. It's probably the red one. Okay. Well, that's gonna get in the way. <laughs> I still haven't set up my external monitor that I was gifted. I just gonna get the cable that connects it. So I, you know, at that point I'll be able to just know what's there and I can fill you in while I'm in the way, but you'll. But I won't mess up. Well, not for. Not for the lack of being able to see at least. Boom. Boom. Yeah, I'll help y'all. Thank you, guard. <clears throat> you saved my life. I thought those Rallins had my number for sure. I thought there was going to be more dialogue read like there was in the beginning, but apparently it's just going to be like the main guys, it seems like. Um, accept, re accept reward later? Why would I do that? Um, press X to see quest item rewards. Are these just all the rewards you get? It's not just one. Oh, I thought I just got one, so I'm getting multiple things? Cool. You have gained experience. Glad you made it. Um, alright. Let's see, how do I... Use the bumper buttons to cycle through available activities, operations, and settings. Use the radial menu to select gear types to equip, compare, upgrade, drop, enchant, and more. Okay. The details panel shows your current level, how much gold you have, and your character's fame. Okay. I'm an unrecognized engineer. The bar along the bottom of the screen shows buttons and actions for the current screen. Alright. Oh, okay. So it's like Diablo. Light cowl. Is it equipped? It's equipped. So we are equipped with the light cowl, which you can see go on and off. And uh, that's everything that I can equip at the moment, besides this wrench that I already have. Quests, more than Asterians. Skills, alright, so. Um, I did read about the fact that you can put your skills into like whatever you want, but it's like permanent, or like semi-permanent. So you have to be, be careful, if that's true. I'm pretty sure it's true. Why would someone say that if it wasn't true? Uh, shield bash, flame hammer, healing bot. All right. Well, obviously, I gotta go with, you know, flaming hammer first. All right. Stats. Assign stat points. So we're going to raise our strength, vitality, focus, dexterity, strength. Well. For the first one, we're just going to raise our strength more. Right? Alright. Alright, baby. Oh. Oh. Alright. Smash. Smash. I was, um... I was playing Pokemon Sword before this, and Pine a little bit. Um, I have my thoughts on both of those. What do I got for health? Oh, it seems like I got pretty full cool health. Oh. 
Oh, stag just... Darn. Can I get around? Oh. Oh, I got him. Golden key. The key has a chest carved on it. Oh. Look at all these, look at all these enemies. <laughs> a part of me wish I had the puppy. But also... I also like the stag. A part of me wish I did the other color now. I don't think you can change it. That's, some, that's something else I read, that's why I was being... I usually like to go into these like totally blind, but sometimes I like to, you know, it's good to know a little bit before you go into a game. Which is kind of the reason why I do this for you guys. So that way you guys can know what you're getting into before you even get into a game. But sometimes I even like to do it a little bit, you know. Uh, Alright, baby. I don't know how to get up. Oh, a chest. Gold light gloves and gold. Oh, yeah. Smash. Oh. I like the... So, even though this is like Diablo in the sense that it's like... The same top-down, you know, press the buttons or set different... Um, you know, you do different commands that do different attacks and all that. Can raise your skills, blah 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 blah. It has a different like art style to it. Um, it's like more of a I don't know. To me, it's a little more like happy go lucky, but it's still got like you know a pocket pistol. It's still got like you know a serious tone to it, but it seems more fantasy like than. Well, I don't know. I guess Diablo's a fantasy too. I hate I hate having to like compare this to Diablo because like it's its own game, but also I mean, obviously it's going to get compared to Diablo. So, I can't use that. I don't think. Can I? Inventory panels where you can examine, compare and equip items on your character. You can also move items from your pet to the screen. Inventory will fill up as you collect new gear. Keep an eye on your inventory capacity under the inventory panel. If you have too much stuff, consider sending your pet to town to sell unwanted loot. That's cool that you can just send your pet to oh, to the town instead of you having to go do it. That's pretty cool. Pocket pistol. Can I equip that? Oh, interesting. I thought you can only do like stuff that's a certain class, but apparently that's part of it. Damage per second. Very slow attack speed, physical damage 25 to 50, physical damage 17 to 35. Well, I don't know, let's give it a shot and see what it's like to use the pistols. Those aren't in Diablo, so that's pretty cool. Um, same thing, except for this one has one plus, plus one focus attribute, so that's fine. Got anything else? I don't think so. I think it lights up when you do it. Alright. Alright, baby. Is it still used? Can you still do flame hammer when you use like the pistol? I'm gonna just continue using this anyways. Stats this time. Focus increases mana and elemental damage, armor, dexterity, critical strikes, dodge, increases fumble recovery. Let's just increase that. I'll add like five to each one as I level up for the first few levels at least. Alright. You can assign a skill to the button of your choice in the binding screen. Oh. You just get here? Alright, talk to this ethereal agent. Whatever whatever exactly it was that word was. Boom. What up, L dear? Alchemist has already come and gone, and it was all I could do to prevent him from entering the Enclave. As it was, many Estelians were injured, and since the confrontation, several more had become ill. We are not sure what is causing it. After his assault failed here, the Alchemist carried on southward toward the Temple Steps. Commander Vale and her vanquishers 
arrived a short while later and pursued him, hoping to prevent further damage. Word. War Club, Wood Shield, and Bombard. Commander Vale believes that the <clears throat> Alchemist might attack the Wellspring Temple in an attempt to reach the Guardian of Water. For what nefarious purpose I am afraid to speculate. There has been no word from either Vale or the Guardian. Scout the Wellspring Temple and determine if the Guardian of Water is in any danger. Alright, well, let's head there and try that. Check that out. A new quest. You have a new quest. I am at your service. Uh, identity. You're at my service. Varmint cinch. Do I have 551 gold? Merchant inventory. Buy 164. Oh, I need to be level 9. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Identify scroll. Identify item. Create waypoint portal. That's probably useful. Dynamite. Mana potion. I guess I'll get rid of this one since <clears throat> it's not in my class. I'm assuming that you can do like in Diablo where you can just like store stuff um, that's not your. Oh, War Club's good. I should probably. I should probably equip that. I should probably sell the other White Gauntlet. White Cow need that. Alright, baby. Let's equip. Equipped. Got a big old hammer. Welcome, friend. Uh, he's got a bunch of stuff too. All right, so these are like some merchants. We got. Did you Thaymore. need something? Skill respect, flame. Hammer. Oh, so you can pay to. Cyber Monday deals. You can pay to reclaim the last three skill points or something. Skill respect. I don't know how you pay to zero. I'm assuming at first it's free and then you don't have to. So you can't do it permanently, only temporarily. Or in the last three, like it says. You right. a new recruit? Yeah, the War Beast Armory. If you're going out to the temple steps, I could use your help. The Storm Stormbjorn have set up a makeshift smithy there, and they have two blacksmiths making up suits of armor for wild war beasts they've captured. Those Stormbjorn seem to be working from schematics, but they keep them under lock and key. Do you think you might be able to get in there and grab the armor schematics? Ooh, it's a good amount of XP and some good some good stuff. At least that's good. <laughs> Sure, let's quest. let's do that. What's your business here? It's to go to participate in the next quest. All right, Lego. Now, can you like smash stuff on the ground? Oh, skeletal larger. Smash! Oh, they have a shield. I like the dialogue, like, I'm sorry, the text that's, like, coming up, the shattered, it's, I don't know, this is, like, I feel like it's, it's wrong to use the word fun, comparing it to electric ring, can that be useful? Oh, electric ring, electric armor. I don't want to use the word fun in comparison to Diablo, because Diablo is a lot of fun. But this seems more like a light-hearted version of it to me. Or, like, it seems more light-hearted to me. But at the same time, that's not the right word either. It just seems like... It almost has, like, Fortnite kind of, like, style to it in a way. Graphic-wise and stuff. And, like, text. But, like, it came before Fortnite did. Like, originally. But it just kind of has that little bit of remind. I don't know. That's not an insult <laughs> to anyone. I am at your service. It is my duty to tend the honored dead and then something. Oh, snap. Let's try that again. Yes. It is my duty to tend the honored dead, but they are angry and have risen from their tombs. 
tombs. The tranquil sensor should calm them once again, but they attacked me, and during the struggle, I dropped it. Can you help me get it back? Safe travels. I'm sure I can get it back. Do I have to accept it? Safe travels. Uh, it's somewhere. Hey. Hey. Cool. Cool, cool. Oh, look at all the stuff. Look at all that stuff. Alright. Got anything else new? That was still the best. Nux. Oh, we got a second. Oh. Oh. We can choose to do that. I don't want to do that. Because they're not as good as the other things. Oh, wait. Quests. Oh, okay. Oh, look at my deer. Smash. 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 Oh, you need mana to do that. Okay. Also, I really hope that the volume of this is, like, balanced. Oh. I'm gonna try talking from back here just because I'm pretty sure it's not. So I'm gonna try to balance it out as best I can. Smash. Shadow. Was that the thing the guy wanted? Tranquil sensor. There it is. Alright, so let's go back to this guy. Also, can you sprint? Alright, this is. You can always. You, you run at the same speed. Thank you. I can use the sentry to purge the necromantic stain from the path of the honored dead. Guardians willing. That should let the honored dead return to the tombs in peace. Alright. Select a reward to continue. Oh, you do select one reward. Uh, um, oh, we can get a collar for the pet. We can get a heavy sword. I wish, I could, I wish that I could compare that to what I have currently. That'd be nice, but apparently you can't do that. Um, I mean, man, let's get a heavy sword. Look at that sword. Oh, it's not even as good. I shouldn't have got that. Dun, 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 dun. I should have got that the thing for the pet. All right, we're going to. Oh, I can't put that in yet. Um, I'm not really sure yet exactly what I want to put on these. Ember Quake. Let's let's hold off on that because it seems like I can't add another one. Oh wait a minute. Toggle details. Do I have to put on something else first? Oh, I d it seems like I can't put any more in here right now. Shield bash, healing bot. You deploy a small drone that generates energy pulses, healing both you and your allies. Shield bash, you smash your enemies in front of you, stunning them, slowing you their attacks, and knocking them back. Damage is equal to five times your shield armor's value. Each charge you currently have provides an additional 10% damage bonus. Um, force field. Your armor protects ember ener energy, creating a force field around you and half strength force field around allies. Once the force field absorbs its mass, only damage it dissipates, removing all benefits. Force field uses all available charges to increase damage absorption by 50% per charge. Wow. Oh, because I need to have a certain level. Is that why? Oh, that's why. All right, let's just hold on to it for now. And we will also add... Five points to vitality at the moment. All right. Smash. 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 And a smash. I don't know, I just pressed L. Oh, I just use like a potion for literally no reason. Gold. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, golden key. You know, I had a golden key from the other area too, but I didn't find the place to use it. Boom. I'm hoping that I can just go anywhere all the time. Like, I hope it's like an open world. Um, as opposed to like a story that you have to follow straight up like linear. Because that would make it a very different um, game than Diablo in that sense. I mean, you can kind of do that in Diablo, but you, it's separated into chapters and stuff, you know? So I'm, I'm hoping that it's more open and you can kind of go do stuff and travel around and it's not like... Like, I hope it's not just set up into chapters, honestly, because that would make it really different in my opinion. I also do have Divinity 2 Original Sin, which I was told is more like that. So I don't know if this is like that as well, or if it's just that one, but at some point I'll do a video for that as well. Um. Boom. What's that? Is that a little, like, rat thing? Oh, it's a torso. A skeletal torso. Um, urn. Smashed. Smashed. Oh, there's a thing inside there. Now there isn't. Alright, we're gonna go down and attack this. Oh, we missed. Smashed. Smashed. Enter the corrupted crypt. Oh, is this the golden chest? Now, I wonder if it's a key for, like, a specific chest or just, like, a golden key for, you know, just a chest whenever you come around to it. Anything good? Ooh, unidentified pants. Colonist pants. Cannot wear them. Mulberry bow. Now, if I press X, I was supposed to press X to switch between. If I was X, to switch between weapons. I just wasted another one. Or is it R? No. R is something else that I can't use at the moment. I thought I was supposed to be able to press that. War Club. And we got... Oh, I didn't put that on. Now the... Now my stag... Now Floki has a... Uh, more physical armor. Oh, there's more things. Spark Ember Spec. I can attach that to that to get more something. Let's just do it. Oh, I can't do it. Oh, it has to be on a socket that's open. Did I just attach it? I think I did. I attached it to my sword, so... Oh. Okay, so it, does, it did, like, what was it, 59? So it did three more damage. Oh, plus seven electric... Oh, plus seven electric damage? I thought it was higher than that. Okay. Cool. I need your help. I can probably help. Uh, we're going to retrieve a scroll. Long story short, I can do that. You have a new quest. The corrupted crypt, floor one. Smashed. To a shield. Earn. 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 Well, I was a skeleton. Smash. Smash. And smash. Obviously, at some point, oh, there's going to be things that aren't just skeletons. But for now, I know that that's what I got. And smash! And... Oh, what was that? Oh, it's like a goopy something. Get out of here, goopy something. Smash! Smash! I want to get that... That, uh... Skill that lets you get, like, a healing thing, Majigger. Boom. Ice wand. I'm sure that it's not my class. Alright. 
You gonna come out of here? No? Alright. I was so certain that skeleton was gonna come out of that, that like coffin. Boom. Boom. I like how it has the health bar in the corner for like whatever you're attacking. Maybe you don't want that in the corner, perhaps you just want that shut off, but like I like it, I don't know, I think it's pretty cool. Boom. Oh a spider. Get out of here, spoder. <laughs> that was such overkill for a spoder. Boom. Dead adventurer. Gonna grab electric ring. Okay, let's check out that. Oh, we can have two rings. So I have electric armor and electric armor. Oh, I have two electric rings. Uh, ice wand. Wood shield. Okay. Smash. I'm gonna go dust down there, I go. If you do your job, love to your love. You'll be stronger than reward itself a French and the song. Oh, was that like... Boom. There's like a splat of blood on the floor. Splat. Oh, it's a mimic. Oh, it's a mimic! Boom, leveled up. Cool. I like that there was a mimic in this. That makes this seem like there's going to be a lot more stuff that's more fantasy than... D Even though Diablo's like super fantasy, I don't know. It's like it's like serious fantasy. This seems just going to be more like f carefree fantasy to some degree. So we're going to have some cloth shoulders. And then we're going to just keep what we got over here. And that's about it. We got some stats we're gonna increase. We're gonna add some more mana. I want that healing bot. Ah. Healing bot. You have learned a new active skill. Use the binding screen to assign it to a button. Or to bind or bind automatically to a free button. Um Go to bindings. Oh, let's use ZL for that. Healing bot. Word. Um. Smash. Smash. I'm like overkill right now. Oh, a fire ring. Six. So let's see what's this one got. Yeah, I don't know. Sure, let's ha let's add some fire damage because then you have different damage. Come on, smash. It's gonna be a regular chest. Oh, ooh. War. Club. That's what I have. Striking Dragon Staff. Cannot use it. It's a little bit higher, but we also have the other damage. Yeah, I wish it would have like the DPS and stuff like that compare to compare with. Um, because if you're familiar with these kinds of games at all, or like really RPGs in general, which I assume you are if you're watching this, then um, you know that just because you have higher damage on a piece of on a, a piece of equipment a weapon doesn't mean that you're gonna do more damage quickly or efficiently with it compared to another one that has it like a lower like if one's at 60 but one's at 50 it might have eight you know uh, fire damage on it that the other one doesn't have and it might um, have like a fire faster rate of attack and that way you can do more damage so can we get through here Oh, we just have to open it. <laughs> smash. Oh, and smash. 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 Oh, his mana is gone. Uh, do I have health? Yeah. Oh, my mana. My mana is... 
No, I say mana. But I guess both are correct. Boom! Alright, let's pick up some stuff. Oh. I just don't have enough mana. Also, uh, when I got this game, it was on sale for fourteen dollars, something like that. Instead of like, it's only twenty dollars um, normally, so it's not like it's expensive. Um, if you played it before and you liked it, then I mean, it's it's it, it might still be on sale past today. I'm not sure. I don't think it's going to be because it's like a Black Friday. I kind of went through to Cyber Monday. As far as I know, I think I looked yesterday and it was still there and it was like Sunday, so. Um, it seems like it. Mimic? No. It seems like it's still going to remain for a little longer. Um, or it has remained a little longer. But. Even if it's full price, it's not, it's not a lot. So, if you're interested in it, it's not like a thing that's going to break the bank kind of deal. Um. I'm going to assume that this game is relatively long as well. Did I get everything? Where, where did I go? Map is to the right. Oh, I can hide it like that. Make the map bigger, smaller. Let's head back over here for a second. Go over here. Was there anything over here? This is just a door. Oh, here's something. Sarcophagus. Mm, nothing was really in there. This is... Oh, falling car... Oh, okay, here we go. Going down to the next flow. Stairs up. Forgotten chamber. Alright. Smash! 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 It'd be cool if... Oh. I'm guessing that eventually you can, like... Alright, so I read this, too. Um, after you complete the whole game, you can, you know, use the same character and go back and... Um... You can use the same character, go back and attack... Uh, attack. I'm, like, attacking someone in the middle not focusing. I can't do two things at once. Like, speak and do this. When you finish the game, apparently you're supposed to be able to go back and replay it um, from the start, but like with all your levels and weapons and perks. Like with Diablo. I mean, if you couldn't, that would kind of like be lame. So, because you can do that, it seems like eventually, I'm assuming... I'm gonna die, aren't I? Oh, I am gonna die. Oh, there we go. I got a potion. Boom. I don't have enough mana. I don't have enough mana. Level up. What's that? Oh, that's the health bot. <laughs> but since that's the case, um, you know, I'm guessing that eventually you can just get everything if you really play long enough and with the same character. You can just get everything, like, leveled up and... You know, just... It would be cool if you could change out your pet at will. Because, I mean, it, that pet's wicked cool to have. Uh, instead of, like, a regular party member, you get a pet. What's, I like that. But I kind of wish I could swap out between the dog and the and the stag and change the, the skin. I also... <laughs> I also read that you can, if you find a certain thing in like a well, apparently you can go fishing in this game. Um, I don't know where or when or for like how that works entirely, but if we come across that during this beginning little first look video, then, you know, we'll, we'll find out together. Quest complete, but I mean, you have to go through and destroy everything and find any more possible. Oh, 
Here we go. Boom. Any possible more items that you might have missed. I wonder how long that heal bot lasts for. Oh, look at all that stuff. Smash. Smash. And a smash. Oh, cool. It's got a portal at the end. Like, Alright, well, let's see. What do we got? Fire amulet. Level five, level seven. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess that. Yeah, we want to go with this one. Cloth cap. We got that. Cloth vest. We got that. Cloth pants. We want the colonist pants because it gives gives you plus four to physical armor on top of that, plus five pet and minion damage. Military light light military boots. Ooh. So, plus three physical damage conveys 90% interrupt chance, conveys five physical damage over five seconds. Uh, very slow attack speed. Two-hander. Oh, we can kind of compare it. Okay. All right, cool. Plus two attack speed, plus ten bonus to critical... Twin spear... Plus four physical damage. That's higher than the other one. Uh, chance to stun target for two seconds. We don't have the plus seven electric damage, though. See, that's what I'm saying. This The hammer we already have has an extra seven damage, which... Uh, Oh, actually, we probably want to... Let's check out we either want to use the two-hander or the twin spear. Oh, it has a DPS. Plus two attack speed. Let's go with the twin spear for now. I think I didn't even check if there's anything else in there. We also had some other stuff. Light gloves. We definitely want to go. Let's see. I don't have. Okay, so if I had all three of the ghastly gloves armor, it would reduce damage taken. But so far, we have two plus increase the amount of gold found. 5% chance to freeze for 5 seconds. 10% um, pet and minion health. Let's go with the ghastly ones for right now. Seems to be just a little better as, as far as perks goes. I'd rather find more gold right now, I guess, too. Um, electric ring. What's this? Cloth bell. So we're starting to get some, some items. Oh, I can also... Increase the healing bot. Give him some more something. Oh, you got two. Oh, cool. Stats. Now we're going to add more to strength. My thanks. Oh, you're quite welcome. So we're going to select a reward. We're going to grab the... Critter stub, because that's the only one that's really useful right now. Um. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> Critter stub. Oh yeah. Ice Ember spec. Let's just add that to that. I don't know. That gave us plus eight ice armor. So if we get attacked by ice, we're going to have plus eight armor. I'm guessing. <clears throat> Earn. Smash. Smash. Oh, it's a vanquisher. 
Uh, to the temple stoppers. We're about that level, right? Six to eight. Apex can also purchase items. I just saw that. That's clip. Hilarious. Waypoint portal. Is it raining? Oh, stop throwing spears at me. Don't throw spears at me. I'm attack you with a spear. Boom. We got for health. Full health. Oh, is this a fishing spot? Secret fishing all times remaining. Okay. Did I do it? A big tunnel shark. Fish containing ashen bow. Oh, I didn't do it that time, did I? I caught nothing. Alright, so I caught a couple of fish. That's how you do that. Allegedly, if you catch one, a certain one, it'll turn your pet into a fish or something, or a spider. I don't know. Oh. Rizmoran. Oh, he didn't do it. Oh. We are barely known now. Smashed. 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 My mana is low. I like the music. I, I hope you guys can hear it. I really hope that the volume is like where I want it to be. Dude, that was awesome. All right, we become more skillful, so we are going to add some more of the healing bot. A hey, bay bay. Um, blast spider mines. Do we have any like passive up uh, upgrades? Expertise with armor lets you get the most out of it. Increasing its your expertise with armor lets you get the most out of it, increasing its effectiveness, um, and reducing any damage that actually gets through. So that's good. Plus two to physical damage. Heavy lifting, this is give you plus two attack speed. Requires a great axe, great hammer, great sword, pull armor, cannon. Uh, requires a melee weapon. Uh, 2.5 chance to cast supercharged weapon on strike. Uh, when you hit foes with a melee weapon, you have a chance to direct excess energy into your weapon and then discharge it during attacks over the next 10 seconds while supercharged. You would gain additional charge. Um, electric damage, additional electric damage. And then this is attack, okay. Sword and board. 20% of shield armor added to melee attacks. 2% to cast Aegis when you get hit. Um, 57 health recovery over 2 seconds. When you use charge for skills, you regain some of your health. Let's add some to dim let's add some physical armor. You know? It's probably good for you. And we'll add... Let's be a little bit... Let's add some more to strength. Let's become really strong. And then, inventory have the same thing as before but plus 26 health on top of that and then let's see we anyway, have plus three dexterity attribute this one does not give us anything so we will not change to it oh ash and bow is in the fish all right boom boom oh is it is it Big old big thing. Oh. Don't attack me. Flip flop flip. My mana is low. Ringed cap. Ringed cap. 
nope, it looks better, but it's not going to be better, so we're not going to put it on. War maker. Boom. Rattlin Marauder. Boom. Discovered Skull Hollow. I love the... I like the color palette. Can we get in here? How many times I have to do this in a row? We're gonna get something good out of this, I'm assuming. By killing a bunch of them, it'll give us like a bunch of treasures. Look at all those treasures. Alright, cool. Oh, some more quests. I also was reading. That there's a lot of side quests in this one, whereas in, you know, Diablo, there's not really, like, a lot of side quests. They're kind of just random meh things, and there's like, actually a good amount in this one, and they're actually, like, legit quests. Um, so we are going to go into a crypt called the Bone Gallery, and we're going to be a Ros Rosa Mortis. We're going to find that. We're going to have to kill some big old big thing, and we're going to... Unlock the ghost chains. Okay. You have received a quest. I just have to Look convince the. Fell off the back of the wagon. The vanquish just come in and tell me about this thing. It's like a straw here. Pick it up. Oh, you can't get inside of it. All right, so we're gonna have to get in there some way. But at the moment, it seems like we might not be able to. Unless I just, like, can kind of smash it. Nope, can't smash it. Well, let's, uh... Let's go after one of those other ones that we came in here originally to do. It's been about an hour of gameplay. Also, there's, like, a small percent chance that I'll actually literally restart this because I kind of wish I went with that other skin for this dag. <laughs> but also, like, I might not do that. But, like... It's not too early into it's not too late into the game that I can't do that and like make up the lost time and whatnot. But also, it's like I still like I like my stag, but I kinda like feel like that reddish kind of color would stick out more over the landscape. Those these are the things oh the beast warns. These are the things that I think about and stick out in my head. I'm kinda like O C D about that stuff. So it's good and bad, because I get what I want, but also, it's stressful. <laughs> oh, let's get that. Let's get that. What do I got for health? I got mostly full health. Oh, what is this? Is there like a way to dive? Oh, I saw a trap. That's pretty cool. I don't have enough mana. I have more fame now. Ringed pants. 12 health. Strength attribute bonus. <laughs> Cloth mitts. I'll still stick with the ones I got for now. Oh, don't fall in the trap. Boom. Stop throwing things at me. Leaving the Beast Wars. Enter the Beast Wars. <laughs> I like that, like, gory, gushy, 
blob splat. Not enough mana. Mana. Oh. I. Oh. Is that two of them? Two big old big guys? Oh. Smash. Not enough mana. Do I have mana now? Ready? Mana. Oh, I don't have enough mana. <laughs> Boom. Level 8 already. I also, I, I read a bunch of things about it. I also read that you um, level up faster in this. Like, more often, you have, like, more stuff to actually, like, do. Or you have that feeling of, like, achieving the next level and continuing and progressing and getting more that you can do and stuff like that. Um, faster in this one more often than you do in Diablo. So, it's kind of got, like, a more rewarding, like, satisfaction to it. Apparently, I read. And so far, I can see that. Um. Some big guys. I need to get. I need to add a new um attack into my repertoire. But so far, so far it's working out pretty good. I don't have enough mana. Oh! Oh, he didn't have enough mana. Gotta get some of those guys out of the way. It's a lot easier when you can actually see um, the HUD in the corner. So, you know, if you're playing it, you probably won't be blocking yourself. I'm just guessing how much mono and health I have. All right, let's try to like head over to that star. As you can see, I am one to just explore all around the area that I'm currently in and not just rush to the objective because there's a bunch of stuff you can get. You can level up. By the time you get to the next area, you are stronger and you can find more things and all that. But for the sake of this video, I'll just get to the next objective. My mana is low. For the sake of this video, I'll get to the next objective so we can just see what happens. Now, I'm curious if there's, like, you know, some RPGs you go through and there's, like, an overarching story that, you know, kind of drives you along, or, um, but some of them it's more open-ended and there's, like, you know, there is one that you follow, but there isn't, you know, nothing super strict. You kind of, like, go make your own adventure. Again, I think... I think, from what I read, this is a little more along the lines of the, the latter than the former, which is honestly what I would prefer. I, I really enjoy the idea of just going and making your own adventure and, you know, choosing your own pace of how you want to go through the story and not really having like a... The more linear something is, the less interested overall I am in it. Like, I mean, Diablo was great. You can pretty much go do what you want when you want. But you also kind of have to do what they're supposed to do. They kind of guide you along. So, oh, mana. So, so far, it seems like this kind of isn't doing that. You're just kind of going through. And just 
exploring the land. Um, level 10 to 12, what are we? Level 8, I guess we're not really strong enough to go in there. But we can try. That was pretty decent. Earn. Earn. What is that? What happened? It was like a... It was like a trap kind of thing. Can I smash that? No. Smash the urn. Smash the urn. I'm curious what the other classes are like, too. There's one that's like a mage kind of one. Smash. You know... This isn't too challenging so far, like in this particular cave. That it said that I... You, you should probably be like level... Uh, it's kind of challenging. They're kind of, they're kind of messing me up. I see I've got like half health. Let's throw a potion in here. I bet you by the time I leave this cave or dungeon, I'm a little closer to that level, though. Oh, this guy is going to be a problem. Oh, what do I got for health? Oh, I got full health. I don't have enough mana. Let's, let's get this guy. Oh, my mana is low, so I can't get that little health bot. Come on, Mana. What's up, Stag? What's up, Floki? Oh, we're actually gonna probably get this guy. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, I died. Alright, so when you die, I guess that's where we're on the video. You can resurrect here, but you lose 906 gold. You can resurrect at the entrance to the area, but lose 302 gold, so it's a third of the gold. Um. You can resurrect in town and lose nothing. Or you can just quit to the main menu. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna restart just because of the just because of the stag itself. Literally, that's why. I'm super weird about stuff. So let's just resurrect here and lose 906 gold. I'm back. Boom, I have more fame. Look at all the stuff that I'm not gonna have in three seconds when I restart this. You know, I think that's honestly a pretty good representation. Is it not actually paused? Oh, when I go to pause it. Oh, here we go. You gotta press the minus button. Um, I mean, I think that pretty much represents the game. I don't know exactly how deep the story's gonna go, but I'm assuming at some point there's gonna be at least a plot line to follow, if not a bunch of plot lines you can follow. I hope it's most mostly comprised of a lot of different plot lines building up to one with like one major one you know kind of like skyrim how skyrim has like the main like dragonborn quest line but like there's about five billion other ones you can do that have all different adventures you can go on and things like that so i'm hoping it's kind of in that vein to a degree compared to diablo's like follow the story along the way you might see a little thing that says like attack these skeletons and that's about it um yeah so if you are interested in this game, I would say that it's totally worth spending the, if it's still on sale, 14 bucks, or if it's full price, 20 bucks, totally worth it in my opinion. Um, so yeah, you can have a pet, all different kinds of pets. Um, I wish you could change it so that way you could like kind of do what you want later, but it's okay. And yeah, so yeah. 
thank you for watching guys um like if you liked it subscribe if you want to see more videos of me showing you games and talking about news and stuff and subscribe did i just say that yeah i did say that and share uh if you think that anybody you know might be interested in seeing this share it so they can see it and check it out for themselves so that is all thank you for watching guys stay tuned and i'll see you on the next one bye bye Thank you.